I have the Xiaomi Poco M3 smartphone right here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Xiaomi.eu custom ROM. Now, for those who are not familiar, this is a modified version of the MIUI firmware. And it's had most, if not all, of the bloatware, tracking, and ads removed so that you don't have to deal with the annoying parts of MIUI. So if you are running a Xiaomi device and you want to run the MIUI firmware, I highly recommend checking out the Xiaomi.eu modified ROM of MIUI. And that's what I'm going to show you how to install today. Now, since this is a custom ROM, this does mean we're going to need to have the bootloader unlocked. So if you have not done so already, you're going to need to unlock the bootloader of the Poco M3. And for those who have not done this yet, I recommend checking in the video description as I'll have a link to a previous tutorial that I've done showing how to unlock the bootloader. Now, not only that, but you're also going to need to have a custom recovery installed. Again, I've previously done a tutorial showing you how to install, I believe it is the Orange Fox recovery. So if you have not installed a custom recovery on your Poco M3 yet, again, look in the video description and follow that tutorial so that you can be caught up. And with all of that done, we can then go and download our Xiaomi.eu firmware, which we get from the Xiaomi.eu website. Just go to the website, check the stable ROMs list. You wanted to see multiple categories of the MIUI. Since the Poco M3 is on MIUI 12.0.9 at this time, we're going to be checking these links. You can either download from the Android Filehost website or their SourceForge mirror. And once we get here, we can scroll through a little bit until you find the Poco M3. And we have multiple versions. Again, we're wanting to mimic the version of the firmware we currently have installed, which as of right now is 12.0.9 so I have downloaded this and I'm going to sideload that using our custom recovery so once this file has been downloaded we're going to need to boot up into recovery mode and we can do that by powering off the device and booting the phone up using the button combination In this instance, that is the power and volume up because we need to boot into recovery mode so that we can sideload this custom ROM. So just as mentioned, we're going to tap the trash can icon to go into the wipe section and we're going to format data. So we tap that tab, type out YES, tap the orange icon so that we can see format is being, the data partition is being formatted. We're not going to reboot just yet. We're going to go back. We're going to tap the hamburger menu icon to go to our menu in Orange Fox Recovery. And we can do this in any other custom recovery like TWRP or LR Teams version of TWRP. 
we're going to go into ADB side load mode. With that done, we can then plug our USB cable into our POCO M3 and open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal that's in the same folder as our xiaomi.eu zip file, which also needs to be in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So here we have our xiaomi.eu version of MIUI. This is the zip file that we download, which I'll be linking to in the video description. We've put this in our the same folder as our ADB and fastboot.exe files are in, in that same folder. And we've opened up a PowerShell in this instance, but again, it can be a command prompt or a terminal. And the command is ADB space sideload space and whatever the name is of this file, which in this instance, it is xiaomi.eu multi poco m3 yada 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 i can even use an, the tab button to autocomplete that entire file name and once that's all typed out we're just going to press enter on the keyboard and now it's going to be sending this zip file to our poco m3 So as our ADB file is sending this zip file to the POCO M3, you're going to see this. You're likely going to see this type of text scrolling on the screen. Again, this can differ depending on if, which custom ROM your, or custom recovery you are using. But we're letting our custom recovery, which is Orange Fox in this instance, not only accept that zip file, but also flash the required files and execute the script of that zip file. Our command prompt is still going up on the progress. We're at 10% right now. And we have completed the install of the xiaomi.eu version of MIUI. With that done, we can either tap the orange reboot system button right here, or we can tap the home button, do any other changes that we want to do to the system, and then do a reboot from here. And with all of that done, we can also unplug the Xiaomi Poco M3 from our computer. And we do have to remember this first boot back into MIUI is going to take a little bit longer than normal. We just did a complete wipe of the data on our phones. So Android has a lot of setting up to do, a lot of app optimization before it can bring up the Android activation screen. And eventually you're going to see the screen go and bring up the Android activation page. You may see this device's locked message because you had a me account associated with your device before we did this reset. If that was the case, we're just going to open up Wi-Fi settings. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. And then I'm going to activate this device by logging into my Xiaomi Mi account. 
And with that, then we're taken right into the MIUI 12 activation page, which we can just skim through. There's no need to have Xiaomi Cloud Sync on, at least in my situation. And again, we are just going to set up as a new device. We have now booted into our ROM. That completes our tutorial on how to install the Xiaomi.eu custom ROM on the Xiaomi Poco M3 smartphone.